everybody. I hope that you are doing well during this crazy quarantine. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Maddie Henderson and please feel free to stick around if you like Disney content. So I know that a lot of us have been missing Disneyland right now. It's no secret that the parks are closed. And if you're like me and if you went frequently or maybe you just had a trip planned, you're just really bummed that the parks are closed and I've been really wanting a taste of that magic quite literally. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make mint juleps. This video was inspired by my family friends, Ryan and Amy. They throw a summer party every year and he actually worked at the parks for a little bit as a cast member at Disneyland. And so he found a mint julep recipe and made it for his party. And let me tell you, they taste exactly like the ones in the parks. They were so good. I loved them. I asked him for a recipe and he was kind enough to not only give me the recipe, but gift me the magic syrup that makes them taste so yummy and so authentic to the parks. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these from home and I hope you enjoy this video. First thing that you're gonna need is to get out all of your ingredients. You are going to need, and I wrote it down, four and a half cups of limeade, three cups of lemonade, which I've already prepared in this, uh, what is the word for this, pitcher? <laughs> And I just used uh, Country Time Lemonade. I didn't get anything fancy. I'm sure you could spice it up if you wanted to. Um, I have the mint syrup here. You'll need a cup of this. Uh, four stems of crushed mint leaves, which I have here. He was kind enough to gift me mint leaves um, that were fresh from the vine, but I actually like planted them in my garden. So that's why I'm using these ones today. And the last thing you'll need is a lot of ice, which I have right here. So I have my three cups of lemonade in here already. I prepared it with the powder and water uh, from my home. And now I'm going to just take this limeade and pour it in there. And this is Simply Limeade. So this is the Simply brand. It's only like $3 at Smith's, really cheap. And this was really inexpensive to make. I think t the total cost of this with having the lemonade at home already was about $8. So it's really cheap. Um, you're mainly just mixing ingredients together. Of course, I already have the syrup as well. So if you need to buy the syrup, that will uh, be a cost. But I don't know how much this costs just because it was a gift to me. So we're gonna need four and a half cups of limeade. So I am just gonna take this and measure it in here. I also brought my little wooden spoon thing so that I can perfectly do this. And we'll take the half cup, pour that in there. Um, the next thing we're gonna need is our cup of the mint syrup. This is the Evan Williams Mint Julep Mix. Um, obviously these are non-alcoholic drinks. If you've been to Disneyland, the mint julep is served at the mint julep bar um, in New Orleans Square. They also have Mickey beignets. That is honestly my perfect combination of a Disney treat would be Mickey beignets and mint juleps. Here's our cup of mint julep mix. And this is like a syrup that will really give it that good flavor that you're wanting. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, it made that so green. Um, it smells amazing. It kind of smells like spearmint gum. Does that make sense? I'm gonna mix this up now. Just combine everything. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're going to be adding our mint leaves. This is what's really gonna give it that fresh tasting flavor. Um, so I'm really excited to add these. Also, I just wanted to point out to you guys uh, that if you weren't aware, I do have a slime shop that is Disney inspired. Um, I do have my number one best-selling slime, which is called Mint Julep Refresher. It's a thick and glossy slime. And it's really fun to be able to make this recipe because um, typically when I'm making mint juleps, it's with glue and borax, but today I'm making something that I can actually taste and enjoy. So I'm very happy about that. This is the mint that I'm using. We're just gonna be plucking the leaves off and throwing them in here. I really like doing uh, recipes like this at home because I've always been a skeptic 
and thought, you know, you can't recreate the taste that you get at Disneyland, but honestly, you really can. Um, because I tried these at that party and they were delicious. I mean, they tasted just like they were fresh out of uh, Disneyland. So if you guys wanna try this at home, I would totally recommend it actually does taste like the drink from the park. And it's really simple to make. I mean, it doesn't take very many ingredients. I just wanna point out that you really don't need two packs of mint. Uh, just by looking at how much came in this one pack, I really only needed one. If you want that flavor to be stronger and fresher than you could add to. Um, but I'm gonna be using this entire container for the inside of the drink and I'll be using the other container for the garnish. Also, this mint was again, only about $2 at um, Smith's, super cheap. And if you grow it in your backyard, you can put mint leaves from your backyard. I personally do grow mint, but it is a cocoa mint. So that'd be a bit of a chocolate weird flavor going on. So yeah, but anyway, I think we are about finished. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't, but I have my mint in here. I can't really show you where I'm gonna dump it out. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that in here. Like so, we are going to add our ice now. This is a big bag of ice that I got from the grocery store. You could use your ice at home. Our ice machine doesn't work very well. So I am using this ice today, but I'm just taking big chunks and throwing them in here just to keep it cool. And I also think that that kind of the coldness helps to richen that mint flavor. And the longer this kind of saturates, um, I feel like the better it will taste because it's that mint plant has been sitting in there for a while. Also make sure to wash your hands guys, my hands are clean. Alrighty, so I just mixed up all our ice in here. And so I'm just gonna put the lid back on to our pitcher and the final taste test is about to begin. So you'll just go ahead. I'm actually gonna, instead of doing the lines, I'll probably go like this, just so I can get that, those mint pieces in there. And so there's my cup of the mint julep. Go ahead and take some ice from the bag and throw that in there. Garnish it with the mint leaves. So just take a couple mint leaves and throw them on top for a garnish. That's typically what you'll see them do anyway at the parks. Just threw some leaves on there and voila, you have your mint julep. Now the final thing to do is the taste test. So cheers. Oh my gosh, it is so good guys. It tastes just like the, ju the mint juleps in the parks. It's delicious. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It just tastes really good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for learning how to make mint juleps. If you enjoyed, um, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know if you try the drink. Let me know if you think it is tasty. And um, be sure to subscribe if you want more Disney content. So I will talk to you later. Bye.